Welcome! You're watching the EOS Blue installation movie. This video shows you how to install the EOS Blue hardware line. The EOS Blue hardware line comprises the following products. The EOS Blue door controller, the EOS Blue door interface, and the EOS Blue power supply. These products are supplied in a housing as standard. The EOS Blue Door Interface and Controller are also available as a module, without the housing. The door controller can be connected directly to the network. In this case, the controller can be powered via power over Ethernet. When connecting a door lock to the door controller, make sure Power over Ethernet Plus is used. If door interfaces are used, connect them to the door controller by means of the 485 bus. A maximum of 31 door interfaces can be connected to a single door controller. To supply the connected door interfaces with power, a power supply must be used. For the example installation in this instruction movie, two door interfaces, one door controller and a power supply are used. During installation, the following tools are required. A screwdriver, a wire stripper, the installation manuals, a DIN rail, and tie wraps. Before the hardware can be mounted, the housing must be opened. Insert a screwdriver into the opening, press the tab on the inside gently downwards and lift the cover up. Then it can be completely removed. Every EOS Blue Door controller has a unique MAC address that can be retrieved from the sticker on the device. Make sure you note the MAC address in order to identify and distinguish the controllers during the software configuration. Every door interface has a unique serial number that can be retrieved from the sticker. In order to identify the door interfaces, it is important to note the serial numbers of the door interfaces and in which order they are placed in the 485 bus. You can now start with the installation of the EOS Blue devices. Place the DIN rail on the wall. The door controller and the interfaces can then be snapped directly onto the DIN rail. If mounting on a DIN rail is not possible, the housing can also be attached to the wall with screws. If the door controller and interface as a module are chosen, the module must be fixed to the wall with screws. After all of the devices have been mounted, it is time to connect the readers on the right side and the locks and sensors on the left. Up to two badge readers can be connected. The EOS Blue hardware line supports the RS-485 protocol for NEDAP readers. In addition, the WIGAND protocol is also supported. The lock can then be connected. Make sure it is connected in accordance with the supplier's specifications. Then connect the sensor. Note for each device the readers, locks and sensors used per connector and the door they control. Plug in the Ethernet cable so the door controller is connected to the network and attach the tie wrap for strain relief. Prepare the power supply and connect the DC output to the power connector on the door controller. To allow the door interfaces to communicate with the door controller, the devices must be connected to each other by means of the 485 bus. Make sure you connect A to A and B to B. To supply the door interfaces connected via the 485 bus with power, the previously prepared DC output must also be connected. Strip the 485 bus wire so that the shield is exposed. Then place the shield under the wire clamp. Make sure that all other connected wires are also placed under the wire clamps. If modules are being used, the shield of the 485 bus wire must be connected to the ground of the 485 bus connector. Now the end of line jumper must be set to yes for the first and last device in the 485 bus. Ensure any other devices remain set to NO. There are three inputs on the underside of the devices. 
These can be optionally used for an AC OK input, a battery low input, or an external tamper input. Please note, all three inputs use the same ground. The final step is the removal of the battery activation strip on the underside of the door controller. Now, the 12 volt AOS blue power supply can be connected. Remove the protection cover from the connector before wiring. First, connect the prepared DC output wire. The shield of the DC output wire must be placed under the ground connector along with the green-yellow AC mains ground wire. Then connect the other two AC mains wires. Make sure that all cables are properly secured with tie wraps for strain relief. Then replace the cover on the connector and check if all cables are placed under the wire clamps. Make sure you retrieved the MAC address and the serial numbers from the devices and the used connectors and doors are determined before closing the enclosures. The AOS Blue devices start automatically as soon as the plug is plugged into the wall socket. During startup, the status LEDs on the front of the device flash red. Once the door controller and interfaces have been successfully started up, the status LEDs will turn green.